Hey, how's it going everyone? Tricky Acid here and welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Coming off Night City Wire Episode 4, we got a deeper look at the vehicles in the world of Cyberpunk from the various tiers to choose from, as well as original cars that we will get our hands on, specifically Johnny Silverhand's 1977 Porsche 911, which would make it a 100 year old classic. So there is a lot of exciting things that have been built around the vehicles, even to the extent of interiors that can differ depending on the model. So if it's a Quadra from Night City or a modified version in the Badlands, you'll see distinct differences. So vehicles are clearly a huge factor in Cyberpunk 2077. I'm going to get more into it, but before we get started, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you're new and let's jump right in. Kicking this off with the street races, so this has been confirmed, street racing is going to happen and you'll be able to take part in these events all over the map from the Badlands to Night City. If you're going to be racing in the Badlands, just be sure to bring a Nomad car like the Reva or something else that's probably heavily armoured and built for that kind of terrain since there's going to be a lot of dirt roads and muddy environments to steer through. Whereas. If you're racing in Night City, bring the best car you've got as you're going to need all the power you can get and as a bonus tip, always carry a gun with you because there can be cases where some of the racers might try and take you out of the race so you'll want some protection since these street races can get pretty wild from what I've heard. On top of that, I love the diversity we'll have between the Badlands and Night City, so having the right car for the situation is vital. So for the best results, make sure you're prepared for the race you'll be getting yourself into. Next, let's talk about stealing cars. Just like in GTA, how you can pull innocent bystanders out of their vehicles, well in Cyberpunk 2077, you'll be able to do just that. And I think the first person camera works great here, and I can see why CDPR stuck with the FPS perspective, because it really does add to the immersion by seeing V beat down someone in the driver's seat, and seeing the shock in the NPC's face before you toss them out and steal their ride and I think that's priceless. On the contrary, if you want to build your car collection and want to keep cars, you can purchase vehicles as well and they're brought through your fixes. So let's say you love one of the high-end vehicles in the game and you want to keep it, well, you can get in contact with your fixer, pay a fee and then you can keep that vehicle for life. On top of that, cars that you purchase will have different interiors and a slightly more personalized look and feel to them as it will be your personally owned vehicle and the same goes for bikes as well. With that said, that sums up this video. Overall, I love the extent of detail that's gone into the vehicles alone. It's almost like we're jumping into Forza Horizon, but with a cyberpunk twist. Let me know if you're looking forward to street racing. I know I will be. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like as it really helps me out and I'll catch you all next time.